Meta have just brought back a really useful tool inside the Facebook Ad Manager that we haven't seen for years. This was removed back when iOS 14.5 was released and I honestly didn't think it was ever going to come back. It's called the Compare Attribution Settings tool and it allows you to compare different periods of time to see when your users are actually taking actions, meaning converting after engaging with your ads. And to access it is really easy. Inside the Facebook Ad Manager, you just click on the Columns drop down and you can select Compare Attribution Settings. From there, you've got a bunch of different options. You can select one day view, one day click, seven day click, or 28 day click. But what do they actually mean? And how can you use these in a way that is actually helpful for the performance of your ad campaigns? We're about to dive into that. But first, it's important to understand what attribution actually means and what these attribution windows actually are. Ad attribution in the world of digital advertising, or in this particular case, in the case of Meta, is where the ad platform attributes specific results to specific ads. And the attribution window is the time period in which they actually attribute those results after somebody engages with an ad. I know you're probably thinking, what is this bloke talking about? So let's look at some examples. Let's say somebody sees one of your ads in the newsfeed, they click it, they go to a landing page where they enter their name and email address and opt into your email list and become a lead. In that case, that lead conversion event is going to be attributed to the ad that they clicked on and it's going to fall under a one day click attribution window because they converted, meaning they became a lead, within one day of clicking on that particular ad. Now by default, that also means they're going to fall under a seven day click attribution window and a 28 day click attribution window because one day is less than seven days and it's also less than 28 days. Now let's change the example a little bit and say somebody sees you're out in their newsfeed, they click it and they're looking at it, but then they get distracted. They were going to buy the product, but they'd go off and do something else. That person then opens up their phone, goes to the browser two days later, sees that they're still at your online store, then they complete the checkout and the purchase. Now in that case, that purchase gets attributed to that ad that they clicked two days ago, but it now falls under a seven day click attribution window. It will not fall under a one day click attribution window because they didn't complete the purchase within one day of clicking the ad. It falls under seven days and it also by default falls under a 28 day click attribution window as well. And now just to demonstrate the 28 day attribution window, if they clicked on the ad, came back after 20 days and completed a purchase, that would fall under a 28 day click attribution window because they converted within 28 days, but they did not convert between seven days or one day obviously, which means it would not fall under a seven day or a one day click attribution window. Now there are several benefits to being able to see which attribution windows your conversions are actually falling under. First of all, it opens up the ability to see conversions that are happening within a 28 day attribution window that we didn't have before. See, when iOS 14.5 hit, Facebook removed the 28 day attribution window and they changed it so that the attribution window that we saw by default inside the ad manager was the attribution window that we selected at the ad set level. And the longest attribution window we could select there was a seven day click attribution. Meaning any conversions that happened outside of a seven day click attribution window with your ads we didn't actually get to see that inside the ad manager at all. But now with the reintroduction of the ability to compare attribution settings, we can now see up to 28 days, which is fantastic because now we get to see the broader impacts of our ads as well. The other thing it does is it gives us much better insight into our leads and customers behavior and allows us to make better decisions around that. Speaking of good decisions, if you're not on my newsletter yet, make sure you click the link in the description to get on that as well. You'll get exclusive content from me to help you become a better Facebook and Instagram advertiser and a better marketer in general. So make sure you get on that if you haven't already. Now to give you some insight into how you can use this in order to make better decisions, let's jump over to the ad manager and see what it looks like in a real world setting. So if we go down here and we select compare attribution settings and we select all of the available options here, you're going to see a breakdown like this. Now the campaign that I'm looking at is optimized for purchases. So we're looking at website purchases that have been completed within the different attribution windows here. Now I can see if I look at it, multiple here, that is the attribution window that is selected at the ad set level. So in this case, it's seven day click plus one day view. So if we add up our seven day click column here and our one day view, it adds up to the multiple. But we also now have insight into our one day click window and our 28 day click 
as well. So by looking at this, I can see that the vast majority of my purchase conversions come within seven days of when somebody clicks on my ads. Only a small amount come within eight and 28 days of somebody clicking. To work out the total, it's 166 minus 159. So only seven of my purchases happened within the eight to 28 day window, which is a really interesting insight into the behavior of my customers. Most of them are going to take action within a week of clicking my ads. And if we dig down even further, you can see that of the 159 that took action and made a purchase within a week of clicking my ads, 129 of those actually took action within a day of clicking the ad. So the majority of my customers are actually buying within 24 hours of clicking the ad, which is a really interesting insight. And there are lots of different things I can take away from that. One of those might be that I need to put more effort into improving my sales conversions between two and seven days because after the first day, there's not much chance of somebody buying. So what can I do to turn more of those people who don't buy on the first day into customers between day two and day seven? Something else that attribution windows do is they determine which conversions actually feed back into the ad optimization algorithm and help improve the performance of your campaigns, ad sets and ads. And it's the conversion we know that you choose at the ad set level that determines this. That means, for example, in your ad set, if you chose a one day click, one day view attribution window, then only the conversions that occur within one day of somebody either clicking on or viewing your ad would feed back into the algorithm for optimization purposes. But what happens if you're getting lots of conversions between two days and seven days? That means that all of those conversion events aren't actually helping to optimize and improve the performance of your ads. The algorithm is simply ignoring it. And that's where this breakdown can be really helpful. If you were to look at a breakdown like this and see that you have a lot of purchases between day two and day seven, but in the ad set, you're only optimizing for a one day click, one day view attribution window, then that might inform you that you need to go and test another ad set with a seven day click, one day view attribution window to make sure that all of that conversion data is actually helping improve the ad set performance. And it's also factoring in and telling Facebook that hey, my customers actually quite a few of them convert within seven days. So I want you to optimize for that fact. It's helpful insights like these that we just didn't have before this feature was reintroduced. Now, one other thing this helps you understand is situations where Meta may be taking a little bit too much credit for the performance of your ads. So let's say you're running ads and you're also running email marketing campaigns, you're running SMS campaigns, and maybe you're even running ads on other channels like Google and YouTube and TikTok and wherever else. Well, in that case, there are going to be many different factors that contribute to every conversion that comes into your business. Now let's say that you came in here and looked at your different attribution window breakdowns and you saw that a lot of your conversions reported on Meta were within a one day view attribution window. Now that means that it's counting a conversion whenever somebody simply saw your ad in the newsfeed and then completed a conversion like becoming a lead or purchasing a product from you within a day of just seeing that in the feed, not even engaging with the ad. Now what that could tell you is that Facebook is taking credit for a lot of these conversions where people are seeing ads but not engaging when maybe they don't actually deserve all of that credit. If you've sent out a big email broadcast and email campaign, that may have driven a lot of purchases, but because they just saw your ads in the feed within the last 24 hours, Facebook is saying, hey, yep, that's us. That purchase was a result of your Facebook ads when, hey, it may not be the case. Now, this is a pretty complex problem and it requires a lot of good cross-platform and cross-channel analytics to understand exactly what's going on and how much each of your different marketing efforts are contributing to the results that you're getting. But it's important to see how these different attribution windows and how this feature can actually feed into that and help you understand what's going on in a little more detail. And while we're on the topic of analytics, if you want to learn how to set up Google Analytics 4 and track your conversion events within that, because that can help fill the gap between conversions that are actually happening and the ones that get missed in your Facebook ad reporting, make sure you check out this video next. We learn how to set up Google Analytics 4 to help improve your overall tracking across your business. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.